Hi families, welcome to our second video update. I hope that you found the first one useful. Just a reminder that if you want to change the subtitles to this video, then please do so by pressing the settings in the corner of this video and changing them to a language of your choice. This video is also going to be uploaded directly to Facebook as well as YouTube this time, um, so please do access it through there. And the link to the Facebook, if you are accessing this through the text, will also be in the description of this video and on the website as well. The Facebook page has been a great tool for communication. I know lots of families are engaging really well with it, so thank you in advance for that. I am here, not in my office today, I am here in the Unity community, which is our new community project that we launched at the start of this half term. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you around. We've got our food pantry, first of all, and this was designed by our students, including the branding and including the purpose of what it was that we were trying to do. Now I know it looks a little bit bare right at this second, but it is replenished every single Thursday, ready for you on a Friday morning between 8.30 and 10 o'clock. We do ask for a one pound voluntary donation. That does mean that you can take whatever it is that you need. Uh, and for lots of our families, I know that they stock up for a good chunk of the week from the, the food pantry that we have here. We've also got a few extra things. We've got our uniform swap shop where you can come in and you can bring a blaze that might have been, uh, your, your child might have grown out of, and you can feel free to swap that for another. And I know at the end of the year, when the year nines are moving into year 10 and wanting to swap the gray blazers for a blue blazer, I'm sure this resource will become increasingly used. A few other things around the room. We do have a uniform repair shop over there and Miss Jermaine does get the same machine out and working should you require it. We've got an area around here for small children and I know that that can be a barrier sometimes to, sorry, I'll move around here with the tongues in it, a barrier sometimes uh, to, to attending these things, but to do bring your younger children and we've got plenty of staff and student helpers here and we really do welcome them coming in. And finally, we've got our community cafe area. And this is great, just so that we can come in and have a conversation with staff, with members of SLT, including myself, or other members of the community. And we found it's been a really nice space on a Friday morning. So just that reminder that the Unity community is open from 8.30 until 10 every single Friday. And taking your feedback, we are looking at extending out those hours. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is the end of term. Now the end of term for this half term is the 25th of May. Now we will be finishing at 20 past 12, which is at the end of period four. Students can uh, purchase a grab bag on their way out of school for their lunch if they so wish. And of course, students who access free school meals will definitely be able to grab their lunch on their way out. So just that reminder, it's the 25th of May at 12.20. Students will be returning um, on the Monday following after the week's holiday. And please do support us by making sure that they're in full school uniform and they are fully equipped and ready to learn at the start of this term. It's the first thing that we absolutely need to get right to make sure that we've got an excellent culture here at Dixon Unity. I did want to make sure that I took this opportunity to reflect on some of the fantastic things that have gone off here over the past number of weeks in this half term. The first is that a number of our students in year 10 have attended their Duke of Edinburgh expedition and successfully completed their bronze award. I know that the students found it incredibly challenging but also got a lot from the experience and I just wanted to thank those students and Mr Rose and the staff who were involved for providing students with that opportunity. We also had a trip to the Alhambra for students to go and watch an inspector calls at the theatre. Now this served two purposes. The first is that it would be really helpful for students as one of their set texts towards their GCSE English exam and that would give them a, a, a far more rich understanding um, that, than they would get by just taking it in in one medium. But also a trip to the theatre is a great cultural experience and we received some fantastic feedback from the local community and from some, uh, some others, the general public who did attend about the conduct of our students during that time. So thank you very much for that. I want to take this opportunity just to note that the year 11 exams are already uh, going ahead and thank you for the conduct of those students in those exams so far your behaviour and attitude towards us has been absolutely exemplary and we are looking forward to celebrating with you at prom towards the end of the exam season and towards the back end of this academic year. Please do make sure that you return those reply slips and pay your money and it will be great to see so many of you there. Now the other thing that's going to be going off next half term which is really important are the cycle three assessments for year seven and year nine and the first mock exam series for our year 10 students. Thank you to those families who attended 
the year 10 revision evening on Monday, I know that you left with a range of revision resources that will be there to help support your child um, to, to revise for these upcoming exams. We'll make sure that you're all prepared and everyone has those resources ready for the assessment series, but please do support us by making sure that attendance is uh, absolutely 100% uh, during this assessment time because the data is so important for us and it really does help us to identify where we need to close gaps in students' knowledge. I'll round off this by saying thank you once again for your engagement this half term. We really are taking great steps forward and it's great to be working so much with you as the Dixon's Unity community. Thank you very much.